obviously thrilled with our effort and our consistency at both ends of the floor. I thought that, uh, you know, we came in, we, we worried about our energy. Uh, it's been a tough stretch. It's been a very good stretch, but it's, it's been tough, you know, three games in five days. And we were a little concerned about our legs and our energy, but to our kids' credit, uh, we talk about you know, veteran players and, and returning players who understand the grind, and we try to embrace the grind and attack the grind. So I'm just proud of our, our young men for being able to sustain it for the last five days. What does it say about you guys that you're able to do that? I mean, because you didn't look like you had a stretch. I think part of it is our, is our depth. I think that's a, a big part of it, you know, being able to uh, sub guys in and out and uh, not necessarily lose a lot. Um, most importantly, at the defensive end, I think that helps. Um, but I think that uh, you know, with, with having the depth that we have, it definitely helps uh, rest guys and, and being able to sustain it throughout the entire 40 minutes. Uh, Coach, touch upon your, uh, your defense down low, especially Simon was very dominant. You got 11 blocks, a lot of fouls. Have you been stressing keeping, keeping the basket uh, uh, defense uh, near the basket? You made it hard. Yeah, you know, rim protection is something that uh, we wanted to address off-season recruiting, and I thought we did a really good job. Obviously, Brandon is a big body down low. Tate does a good job. He's a fighter, and uh, although he may give up 15, 20 pounds, you know, he fights each and every possession. Um, but with that being said, we just wanted to wall up and try to force them to shoot over us and stay down on the shot face because they're long and athletic just as well. I mean, I think that's a very good ball club. And, uh, you know, I thought that our guys did a really good job of being disciplined in the post defense and, and really trying to wall up and make them play over us instead of shot blocking. But, again, Brennan has that ability, as well as Chap. I thought Chap, you know, he jumped really well. Even though he's 6'6 on a good day, he jumps really well. Coach, uh, 16 points, 9 rebounds, 7 assists with Jabari Sanders. Uh, Sanders had a good Excuse me? Well, oh, Jabari, I thought he did a great job being a, being a, fo a floor general uh, with him. I thought uh, he did a really good job. It was hard to you know keep him out of the game. I think he played the most minutes. Uh, you look at it, he played 38 minutes. So uh, credit to him. You know, again, again, tough stretch, three games in five days, and he plays 38 minutes in the final. And uh, just really pleased with his de development and his growth. And I thought he had a really good, efficient game. How confident? I think it's growing every day. I think we talked about that in terms of there's a difference between cocky and arrogant and confident. And we, we, we really emphasize confidence comes through preparation. So we really take pride in, in how we prepare and how we go about day-to-day -day operations at a high level. We want to be as efficient as we can with the things that we can control. So I just think that the guys are obviously very confident, as they should be. Uh, Gary, you fell down there a little hard in the, uh, the beginning of the second half. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. How are you feeling? Nah, it's all good. Body a little banged up, but I'll be fine. How does it feel to get this win after last season, after last year against them? Feels great. I mean, we went in there and lost because we missed a lot of free throws or whatever. We just put didn't play well. And it feels great to come back this year and beat them, especially by that much. It was a great team win for us. So. In the first 10 minutes, it kind of seemed like each team was kind of struggling to get shots to fall. Exactly what changed beyond that point? Uh, defense. We start uh, really keying in on defense, getting stops, and once you get stops, you get buckets. In the second half, you kept it going. Too. How important was it to, to maintain that momentum in the second half? Uh, I mean, that's definitely probably more important, really. I mean, because we had the lead going into the second half, and uh, we just need to sustain it. I mean, keep playing defense, because I mean, for us, that just means we score, so because I mean we get fast breaks, wide open jump shots, because the other team gets frustrated, so it helps a lot for us. This is the second straight game. Uh, Jalen Morgan and Jalen Chapman have both come off the bench, and really giving you guys quality minutes inside and out. How much confidence do you guys do you guys get from not only those two, but from from the depth that this team has, has this year? Uh, we have so much confidence in all our teammates. When they come in, we know they're going to give us a lift. So we just when we see them come in, sometimes we really do need a lift. Because depending how, like from the start, they came in, they got rebounds, and led the buckets. How confident are you guys right now? I mean, really confident. I mean, we're a confident team, and I mean, we do, I mean we put in a lot of work too. So, yeah. like Coach says, confidence comes through preparation. So, I mean, we we practice hard every day in the weight room and everything. So, it's carryover.
What did your mindset heading into Saturday? You hit the road again to go to Eastern. What are you guys thinking about? Honestly, um, on the road, good starts. We have a good start. <sighs> Tends and leads to good things, as you saw at Wisconsin. But once we get rolling, as long as we don't shoot ourselves in the foot, honestly, um, defense is obviously going to be our key. And then get buckets. Anything you're worried about? Any turnovers? Any issues you're worried about transferring over from these past few games down no. on Saturday? No, not at all. I mean, like we said earlier, we're a confident team. And we have faith in each one of each other. And, I mean, we'll be all right. So, we're not worried about it at all. <laughs> Three games in five days. I mean, that's got to, I mean, I would imagine you want a little rest right now, or do you want to keep going? Uh, I mean, hey, I can keep well, I mean, we got a day off tomorrow, <laughs> yeah, so that's good. This. But besides that, I mean, we're cool. Like, we're ready for a long season, so. Exactly. That's just right. these three games in a row, basically, are going to prepare us for uh, – conference play at the end of the tournament. You get about, what, one day, maybe one break? I don't even know if you get or you just go three games straight. Yeah. So, I mean, we can do it now. We can do it then. You guys really showcased your ball movement today. How important is that to your offense moving forward? Keep that up. Oh, that's, that's always important. That's how you get easy shots. Um, good ball movement. Players, um, really, we have, everybody has confidence in each other. So, when I pass the ball to Barry, I know he's going to hit it. I'm usually walking down the court holding up the three. But, uh, or same with JC. So, I mean, we have confidence in all our teammates. We know they're going to hit wide open shots. How much fun are you guys having? Because it just looks like there's just so much energy, no matter what, guys on the bench, guys on the floor. It just seems like it's just, I, I know it's that common, but it just looks like you guys are having fun more than anything. Maybe a little too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are definitely having a lot of fun. I mean, these past two years have been rough for us because, I mean, you know, it's our third year. And, um, we're, I mean, we're back to having a lot of fun because, like, the first two years we weren't having really much fun at all. Like to say. We were losing, but, I mean, winning is always fun, so. Third year's the charm, right? Yeah, exactly. You guys were in the, I mean, you guys got votes in the national rankings. What does that mean for you and for the program? It means a lot, but we're not really worried about that. Mm -hmm. We're just worried about winning. We're going to take it one game at a time. The ranking will, will take care of itself. Speaking of winning, it's, uh, it's been 26 years since this team started 3-0. How good is that? It's a lot of years. Yeah. <laughs> it feels really good. I mean, that shows how much work we put in and how we're a different team than we were last year. So.